Open Heavens Daily Devotional Written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide. Today, Sunday, August 11th, 2024. Topic, The Purpose of His Life, Death and Resurrection. Memory Verse The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John chapter 10 verse 10 Bible reading John chapter 1 verse 19 to 29 And this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed, and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he saith, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, whom ye know not. He it is, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethabara beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Today's message. I am quite sure that you are aware that, over two thousand years ago, Jesus walked the face of the earth as a human being like you and me. However, are you deeply aware of the exact reason for which he came to the earth in human form? John chapter 1 verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. What was Jesus' purpose for coming to the world as a man? Let us examine some of the answers that the Bible gives us concerning this. 1. He came to call sinners to repentance. Matthew chapter 9 verse 13 says, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. 2. He came to give eternal life. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. 3. He came to heal, deliver, and set the captives free. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. 4. To destroy the works of the devil. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Considering these scriptural references about Jesus' purpose for coming into this world, has his coming had any impact on your life? If you cannot answer this question clearly, then you need to invite Jesus into your life, even if you have done so before. Surrender your life completely to Him today and make a commitment to live holy going forward. This way, the purpose of Jesus coming to the earth as a man will be fulfilled in your life and you will live above sicknesses, diseases, captivity and the works of the devil. You will enjoy abundant and eternal life in Christ Jesus. Key Point Jesus came to the earth so that you may have eternal life. A blessed morning to you and happy Sunday. Do have a fruitful and fulfilling new week in Jesus' name. 
Join us for Hour of Revelation and Prayer every Wednesday at 6 p.m. A time of refreshing also awaits you every Sunday 10 a.m. as you attend our Sunday worship service. Our hymn for today is Hymn 14. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Be inspired as you listen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I'd wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Sure as he's spelling with joy, I am telling he made all the darkness depart. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior So quickly was made when as a sinner I came to for the offer of grace. He did proffer his heavenly or praise is the name. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Sins were 